Hi everyone! Today I wanted to show you some more freckle pens and give you a quick rundown and my thoughts on them. I've tried out the ColourPop in Soft Brown freckle pen, the original freck, and the Lime Crime in Amber. I've been using all these for a little while and I wanted to give you my thoughts and swatches for all of these. I'll start with the cheapest of these options first. So this is overall just the cheapest price. It is cruelty free and it comes in two colors, soft brown and I believe the other one is just brown. I purchased the soft brown and we'll give you a little spoiler here, I don't like it. So this one is $8 for one milliliter and it has a hard tip. It just looks kind of like a standard marker on the my skin. It looks like it's gonna be a nice color and that it matches well, but it's just too dark for me and it does not look like realistic freckles. The shade is a little too brown and it needed some more of a warm tone to it. It's way too neutral to look natural on my skin tone. I couldn't tell you how it might look on someone else who might be darker or have a different undertone, but for me, it's just not a natural color. The one nice thing for this is it can be layered over other products so you can put it over your blush or underneath and it still looks natural like I already said I don't really like the color but it does work it can be put on on last or before blush it doesn't really matter the other thing is I don't like the hard tip because it makes it so you can really only do one size freckle and it is kind of challenging to do a variety like smaller or larger freckles to make it look more natural. And I also don't like that they only have two colors. It's not really enough colors for everyone of all skin tones to be able to find one that they can use. So for the ColourPop freckle pen, I would give it just two of five stars and it is a pretty cheap price. And it's not terrible, it's not the worst it could be. It definitely works. I'm just not a fan of it and I think there are better things out there. This next one is the Lime Crime Freckle Pen in Amber. This one is $18 for 2.5 milliliters. This is the best value for the amount of product you receive. This comes out to 7.2, which makes it per unit cheaper than the ColourPop one. But overall, it's a little more expensive, obviously, because you get more product in it. Of the three I'm reviewing, I find this one the easiest to use. I love the pen tip on here. This is a very soft tip, so you can really use this to get different size freckles. You can press down hard to get a larger one, or just very lightly to get like a soft, small, light freckle. It's really great. I love the color as well for my skin tone. Amber is the perfect match. They do have one other slightly darker shade. There are not shades for everyone, unfortunately, so that is very important to consider. I find this one very easy to use, and when I use it, it does last all day. I'll have this on under my mask, and the freckles will still be there at the end of the day, so it's really great for longevity. The other nice thing is it can be layered, so you can put this on top of a blush or under your blush. It doesn't really matter, it works both ways. So to give you guys a swatch of what this looks color-wise, this right here is the Lime Crime and this is the ColourPop. So overall the Lime Crime gets five out of five stars. It's super easy to use, I love it. I just wish that they had more shade options for all skin tones. So the last one I wanted to cover is the Freck Original Freckle Pen. This, you might have seen my review a few months ago of just this pen, but I've had it longer and tried out a few different products and wanted to give my updated thoughts on this. So what is great about this freckle pen is like because it has more of a brush tip while the other two are a marker tip, you can do a wide variety of freckled shapes and sizes. This really gives you the most options of any freckle pen I've used, but it has a learning curve. It definitely takes a little bit to get them to look natural and this one definitely has the most learning curve of all the ones I've tried. As far as price, this is $22. As far as price, this is $22 for 1.35 milliliters. So it is the most expensive of the three, both overall and per unit. A great plus is that it is a tint. 
So this can cover the widest range of skin tones or a freckle pen I've found, but I do think that this works for most people versus the other two only having two shades. One other positive about this is it lasts all day. Once you have it on and it's dried, it's there all day until you take your makeup off at the end of the day. I've never had it come off like on my mask or anything when I wear it out, which is fantastic for this product. The one downside though is this cannot be layered. You cannot put this over colored makeup products. So you could put it over your foundation, but you cannot put it on top of bronzer or any blushes because this is a tint. It just tints the skin underneath to a darker color. So if you put this over a blush, it's gonna look red. You're gonna look like you have red spots on your face. So it works really well as long as you properly layer it and don't put this on top of a colored makeup product. And for a swatch, I'll give you that as well. This one is right here for the Freck Freckle Pen. When it first comes out of the tube, it's more of a bright red and you have to tap it to get it to around the same shade as the others. So you can see here. For the Freck Freckle Pen, I would give it four out of five stars. It is great to use and I do love it, but I think it's a little challenging and it takes much longer and it's not as easy to apply as the Lime Crime. The Lime Crime is truly just so simple and easy to use, there's no learning curve. So really, if you're looking to get a freckle pen, I would recommend this one from Lime Crime. Also going to be applying this on my face just for funsies here at the end. This is definitely my favorite and I don't think I'll be shopping around anymore for freckle pens because I'm very happy with this one. Alright, that is all of the freckle pens I wanted to give you a review for today. If you've used any of these, please let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I'm interested to see what you thought about these because this is just my own personal opinion and how I've been able to use them. So I'm interested to see if any of you agree or disagree with me. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing to see more makeup and fashion content, specifically of the cottagecore kind of aesthetic. Hope you have a great day!